you only need to know that after we hit previous all-time highs again, it was only 21 days before we exploded into a massive altcoin season. Guess what? We have literally just finished that 21-day period today. Pair that with the fact that the USTT dominance is currently about to break down on a six-year-long trend towards the downside. This couldn't be a more bullish and more exciting turn of events that are happening at the exact same time. And according to many metrics out there, people aren't ready for what comes next. So in this video, I'm going to break down exactly all the evidence compiling where we are right now and what is about to happen in the next few days and what you need to do about it. So hit the like button and let's get into today's video now, guys. As you can tell, I'm a little bit hyped up, a little bit excited. So I'm going to do my best to try and give you a nice level approach. Now, first things first, if you're subscribed throughout the last 18 months or so, I've been referring you to L Crypto Prof on Twitter, who has been pretty damn accurate at calling the behaviors of crypto and the overall market cap. Now, he's managed to find out through drawing three lines on a chart and counting a few candles that every time we've hit the all-time highs from the previous cycle, it's been 21 days before bursting through it. And as you can see, the first time the all-time high came in the last cycle, because it was like a double top, we draw that line across and then it's been 21 days. Although you could just draw it at the top and, you know, pretty much the same result would happen. Maybe it would just happen like two or three days after. So for those of you guys who are like getting amped up about that, you know, it's pretty much the same result. It will take two days. Now, also something I brought up in the very excitable introduction is the USDT dominance. Now, I want you to think about what happens in crypto for someone like yourself. During a bull market, you want to be in the more risky asset side of life, hopefully, if I've taught you right. And during the top of the bull market, you will see that people are even more degenerate and they're pushing to the riskier and riskier assets down to the point where they're spending $700,000 on the picture of a JPEG roll. That's when stuff gets a bit silly. But that's when everyone's getting riskier and riskier and pulling out of USDT, which is the safest asset. Bitcoin's not the safest asset, okay? People go to the USDT and for sure, at the top of the bull market, I won't be pulling my money into Bitcoin. It will for sure be going into USDT and then probably out of crypto for a little holiday. So when the USDT dominance is high, it means we're in a bearish situation. When it's low, it's more bullish. So what we can see right now, after a six-year trend, it has a really nice push towards the upside, which is obviously the bear market we've just been through. Uh, and then it basically has a dump. Hits this line, you can see it's having a little bit of a sideways action, which is why Bitcoin's been going sort of sideways up and down a little bit in the last few days. But lo and behold, this is a very, very bearish pattern. And I expect USDT to break very much lower in the coming days. And when it happens, altcoins are going to go nuclear. And lots of people are like, well, what about the halving? What about this? What about that? Forget about all that, okay? All you really need to know is charts, media presence, and overall sentiment in the market. The sentiment in the market right now, I think you'll agree, if we look into this Wall Street cheat sheet, is fairly kind of hopeful, if not a little bit optimistic. Now, you might be feeling like, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about my positions. You know, most of them are in profit right now. Some of the meme coins and things I bought, maybe not so much. But, you know, live by the sword, die by the sword and all that. So you'd have to argue that we are probably just coming out of this optimism area. And after we kind of get out of this bluey green bit into the green bit, you can see what happens. OK, and this happens in every bull market. And why it happens is this, because different people are entering at different times of the market. And smart money has been entering throughout the last kind of year or so. And now we're only just starting to look into retail. Retail has slowly been creeping into the market, although still it's not massive. This means that we are still just leaving the awareness phase. And now we're kind of moving into the what's a MetaMask wallet? Should I be using Coinbase? I lost this money. I bought a meme coin with a frog on it and I sent some money to someone else because this influencer told me it's all his fault and her fault and that kind of phase, which obviously we're all really looking forward to. And you can see something crucial comes in at that particular time. Sorry, by the way, if you're asking some of those questions. I'm creating a new tutorial channel, which I'll tell you about in the free Telegram. That's not the announcement, by the way. That's something else. But if you want to get in the free Telegram, then I will also be explaining how to use Meta masks and things like that, okay? I know I'm sarcastic as part, but I'm genuinely not meaning to mock you. No, really. Now, media attention. Media attention comes in. Everyone's like aping into stuff because, you know, that's when things go crazy. That's not really happened yet, okay? We've 
seen a little bit of stuff on the news. Bitcoin's beyond all-time highs, and we haven't really seen it being covered. I've been watching Bloomberg recently because I want to keep my finger on the pulse of what the media is doing. Not because I want to listen to the media and be like, I'm going to do what it's telling me. More, I want to do the opposite, but I want to keep my finger on the pulse of what the people are being taught. So I think looking into all of that, we can have a fairly strong estimation that we are somewhere in and around a phase which then ends up going absolutely bonkers for Bitcoin and then the rest of the altcoin market. Therefore, be patient, okay? I know you've been spoiled recently. And the problem with being spoiled is it makes us do stupid stuff. For example, if you've been in Solana in like the last three weeks and you saw that gain of like 100%, you're like, well, give me the next one, okay? Give me another 100%, give me another 200%. And it makes us really impatient. 21 days in crypto seems like a lifetime, but be patient, okay? If the coin you bought the other day, let's say you bought AIOZ up here at 1.07, you're like, oh, probably shouldn't have bought it on that top. We're well, absolutely right, you shouldn't. You should be waiting for pullbacks. But if you've already bought it, then be patient. Maybe AIOZ does this for a day. Who knows what it's going to do? But the thing is, we are very close to entering into that astronomically exciting time. And if you're chopping and changing around in your cryptos too much right now, you're going to end up in a whole world of pain. You're getting so much hype and excitement fed to you by YouTube, and I'm aware that I'm feeding you some hype and excitement as well. But you don't really need to be going after those degen small altcoin plays right now. If you're still holding in the larger market caps like Solana, AIOZ, which has been having a really good run since we mentioned it back here, then just be patient. Your time is coming. And if you're wondering whether you missed out on AI, well, yeah, you missed out on a big run. But to be honest, after having decent pullbacks like you've seen here, you've still got an opportunity, if you're late to the game, to have a crack at AI. But as you can see, real world assets have been going crazy, like Relio, which is kind of earlier on in its kind of move, perhaps, than AI coins. Same with Maple, real world assets, which I talked about just two days ago. And if you were subscribed to the channel, then you would have caught that. Also, since we mentioned it on the channel, OGV is up over 69% and still growing. So there's a lot of excitement happening in real world assets. But right now, you don't have to panic. Is my portfolio good enough? Really, I see it as as long as I've got exposure to some decent narratives, AI, D-pin, real world assets, a bit of DeFi, a good layer one, maybe a bit of Bitcoin for safety. And if you want your DGEN, go after some meme coins, fine, you know, fill your boots. But we're just about to leave the safe harbor of crypto where it's actually reasonably easy to see good returns. But we're about to enter into one of the scariest, most exciting adrenaline rushes that you've probably ever been through called a full blown bull market. And you just need to calmly wait for it. Okay, stop panicking. Know what you're holding. Don't hold too many coins out there. Stay nice and calm. And times are good. And if you want to just manage all your crypto from one place because you're getting confused having multiple MetaMask wallets and exchanges and phantom wallets, then you need to sign up down below for a CoinStats account. And for a partnership with the House of Crypto, we are now able to offer you a 50% discount where you can pick it up for just $7 per month. Now it works with over 300 different wallets and exchanges with over a thousand different DeFi protocols and has over 153,000 users. It's backed by the likes of Brian Jung and Cameron Foose, two crypto traders I watch quite actively. Now what you can do through this platform is you can attach different wallets to a single account. So I can attach multiple MetaMask wallets, a Phantom wallet, Mexi Exchange, whatever it is that I'm using, and keep an eye on all of my different tokens. It then shows you your allocations, the performance of your portfolio over time, and even allows you to buy crypto coins and receive. So you don't even need to be getting in and out of all these different exchanges and things all the time. You can all manage it now through one centralized hub for just $7 per month using the link down below in the description, which will bring you across to this page. Also comes with a 14 day money back guarantee, so an absolute no brainer. Now, for those of you who are disappointed that you couldn't see my full portfolio in CoinStats, let me share with you a little bit more about some of the moves I've been making over the last couple of days and where I see things progressing. Now, I wanna tell you something very key. No one really is sure of exactly the next narrative move, but there's always a few key indicators and things to look for. A catalyst, shall we say. As we know with AI last year, it was a pretty obvious one, okay? ChatGPT goes crazy, loads of people download it. Therefore, AI was an obvious one, everything then supports it. We then see at the end of last year, a D-PIN report created by Masari explaining this term D-PIN to people who'd never heard it before. 
talking about the biggest industry within that being AI and AI compute, then we then see a big surge in demand for those projects, which is why I was bringing you more information on the likes of AIOZ, Gaming, which we raised money for yesterday. And if you want to learn more about being able to get involved in projects in pre-sale, then get in the free Telegram because those guys who got into gaming are at a 10x already. And then after the deep in piece, we've now started to shift into real world assets. And then two days ago, we got into a piece on real world assets, okay? And since then, we start to see the real world assets taking off. Right now, it's fairly evident that when we hit that bull market crazy phase, everything's gonna go crazy. And I think lots of things will move at a similar time. So what am I doing? Well, right now I do have exposure to some real world asset projects like Relio and Maple and a couple of others. So I think when the bull market happens, we're still gonna see real assets going bonkers. And the real world assets all got triggered because of BlackRock making an announcement that they were kind of tokenizing everything. So it was a fairly obvious move yet again. And since a lot of the AI coins have kind of been through a nice pullback and are now starting to get on the move again, this is Ajax. If we continue to see bigger growth in Rio and other ones like that, then maybe I'll start to move some of my profits into the likes of AGI, which has had its nice healthy pullback, a bit of a bounce phase right now, and some others. But I think the next early winners, the next narrative winners that are gonna come through could be something we've already seen a bit of growth for already. Now, I want you to think about what happens next. Everyone floods into the space to trade crypto coins. But this time is slightly different from before because of regulation. If you're in the US right now, you're probably like, well, it's really annoying. I can't access loads of exchanges. And you're probably using DEXs more aggressively than ever before. DEXs, right? Interesting. And now starting people are going away from it. I think still people are using centralized exchanges for Ethereum-based trades. But on Solana, people are starting to use Jupiter, Radium. And on AVAX, people are starting to use Trader Joe more and Pangolin. And then you've got perpetual DEXs, like Dex Toro, which I've been talking about a lot on this channel over the last few months. And then you've also got the likes of Synthetics and DYDX. And if you look at this chart for DToro, you can see that we are kind of currently just finding some nice support on this sort of triangle pattern. And eventually, when they kind of get to the point where we're going to be moving, and we're going to be moving into that next phase of the bull market, I do think that it is DEXs that could see a big pump first. And people already realize this. I talked about Pangolin back on the channel at around 19 cents back here in October. And since then, people have been making bonkers money on it. It's had a good healthy pump. Now lots of these coins that are pumped earlier are now pulling back into very key zones. And that's what we're looking for. So if you fail to get into certain narratives on this pump, fine. Wait for the pullbacks. The pullbacks in the bottom comes. It creates a nice triangle down. You see where it breaches this line. And that's where we get a nice entry. Hanglin's doing it. AGI's just done it. A few others, guys. It's really not that difficult, okay? So maybe if you miss real world assets, don't need to ape into them. Maybe start aping into things that pumped already and are pulling back. That's the way I see things. And if you're struggling to buy and sell cryptos because of your location in the world and because of things like KYC and need for VPNs, then guys, go down below, get Bitunix, use the code to receive a special discount on your trading fees and a bonus for signing up. Bitunix is no requirement for VPN, no requirement for KYC, and you can trade a bunch of pairs. Its liquidity is provided by Binance. It's one of the quickest exchanges out there, and it will be uploading new coins all the time, and it will airdrop the new coins it releases to the users who are using this exchange. Hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. Remember, don't need to panic. Keep things calm. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.